phone. It's Ali's medical tribunal today. How dare he make out he's the victim? Yeah, but everyone knows that he's lying. That's why no one wants to get treated by him. You're gonna wipe that smile off his stupid face. I'm so proud of you for standing up to him. Trying to make out he's got PTSD. That's a joke. I am not going to allow another injustice after the rape trial collapse. He might have walked away from the pain he inflicted on me, but I'm going to finish his career. Why, why can't we go in there with you? Because it's a medical tribunal, not a day out at the zoo. Stop snapping at people, yes? Why are you still on your phone? What are you looking at? Nothing. What is it, Shaq? They think I'm the liar. Are you serious? Well, that's just put more fire in my belly. I might have lost our last battle, but... <laughs> Ali's not winning this one. It's taken its toll, but these things are sent to try us. Sorry, I'm early, but... Anyway, the sooner I can get back to doing what I do best, the better. But it's been lovely catching up. Dr. Malley, please take a seat. I was under a lot of pressure. Yeah, my career had been dragged through the gutter, and I was still receiving treatment for the PTSD that I'd suffered as a result. Are you saying you were still practicing while you were unfit for work? No. No, I mean... <laughs> Me at 80% is still as good as anyone else on their best day. <laughs> Indeed. But that day, I was swimming against the tide. You know, I, I tried to put a full team together, but colleagues were refusing to work with me because of the allegations. And I was informed that if I didn't act there and then, that I would be putting her Olympic career in jeopardy. Now, my instinct as a doctor is to preserve life and limb without question. And Miss Lomax took advantage of me. It was her that had a point to prove. I mean, I don't. I never have. <laughs> For my sins, I'm one of the top oncologists in the UK. It was not me who put the patient at risk. It was Dr Malik and her team. <laughs> I am... Sorry for my part of it, but my reserves were low. And I just wasn't able to stand my ground, especially when Miss Lomax came into the operating theatre and threatened to make up a sexual allegation unless I complied with her wishes. I am Ms. Babalik. I have concerns about the conduct and character of Ali Shazad. The defamation of Perry Lomax's character is unfounded. She's an excellent nurse who acted impeccably throughout the situation that she found herself in. As you know, we're a teaching hospital and as such, often record surgeries as a tool for learning. If you look at orthopedics, you will see that Perry Lomax's account of what happened is accurate, and Ali Shazad is false. You can't submit video evidence without the consent of the subject. Oh, but the cameras in and around that operating theater were your idea, so that all the staff could um, witness brilliance, remember? So, ironically, you did give consent. This isn't the first time you've tried to claim someone's making false accusations. The video evidence shows that Perry Lomax did not enter the operating theater to blackmail you. She did not threaten to make a false accusation against you, but you have accused me of making false accusations against you. Haven't you? We're not here to go over a case that was dismissed in court. Dr Malik, why do you think this is relevant? 
being a doctor is as much about ethics and character as it is about practicing medicine. And if you don't know the basic difference between right and wrong, then you shouldn't be entrusted with the role. You said you were only interested in the facts in the case. The fact is, I was raped by Ali Shazad. I didn't get the chance to give my witness statement in court, but so help me, I'm going to do that here. Now. Oh, here we go. That rape may or may not have changed the course of my life. I have lived with the burden of what happened to me for so long that I can't tell what's me and what isn't. What I do know is that the act inflicted on me by Ali Shazad changed how I felt about myself. Since that day, I have lived a life of self-doubt. Forever wondering whether I'm making the right choices. I gave up my own son because of the hurt that man inflicted upon me. I've had attachment issues with my youngest son over the guilt of rejecting my first. That was with me every waking hour. <laughs> this is not relevant. Given you referred to the impact of the rape accusation, Dr. Malik is well within her rights to refer to the incident. Ali Shazad is a manipulative liar. He has taken no responsibility for his actions towards me and countless other women. A woman has the right to choose whether she has sex with a man. That's basic, that's fundamental. And a man who doesn't understand that isn't fit to practice. A man like that does not get the privilege of saving a life. Not when he's so readily capable of ruining one. How dare you! This is slander! This is truth! You don't deserve to be a doctor. You're nothing but a man who abuses women with less power just to make yourself feel better. You got everything you deserved, Ms. Bamalek! Mr. Shazad, please sit down. No! She was desperate for it! It's not my fault that she changed her mind afterwards. I must ask you to leave this room. No. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, you will. We have enough information to arrive at our decision. You have been asked to leave this hospital and its grounds. If you do not, I will call the police. No. We've all wasted enough energy on this man. But the things he said to you, am I supposed to just let it all go? Yes. And you shouldn't have been texting in there. I don't care. Yeah, she was amazing. He's proving difficult. The police are on their way. I can't give you the result of the tribunal, but I don't think you'll be seeing Ali Shazad again. Get off me! Yeah? And what are you looking at? A rapist. And this is how you're going to bring your daughter up, is it, huh? To be just like you, a lying bitch. We do it. Don't talk about my daughter like that. You know, I almost felt sorry for you because... You're you, and I'm Mizbah Malik.